entire world relies on manufactured materials that never appear naturally. The easiest example of this is batteries, a package of ions that stores electric energy. For as long as electricity has existed, scientists and engineers have been trying to find the best ways to store it. And so far, all properties of ionic solutions were determined by synthesis and extensive lab testing. This project focuses on demonstrating that material properties can be determined using molecular dynamics simulation. My name is Adam Wright, and I am entering my final year of electrical engineering with maths and computer science in 2024. At the start of this project, I had never used a supercomputer, never run a molecular simulation, and never analyzed molecular simulation data. I worked hard to learn fast, and now have done all those things and more. During this internship, I experienced the thrill of setting up software on an unfamiliar and foreign platform. To perform simulations and analysis on the supercomputer Satonics, we needed to install two major software packages, a neural network modeler and equip, and a molecular dynamic simulator LAMPS. LAMPS relies on GPU integration for its function, which meant it is very platform specific in its installation method. I lacked any background in this, so I relied on my supervisor's work to get this running. My only real solution was to ask the supervisor, Tim, to set this up. This was a development of my interpersonal skills. I had a lot of experience asking peers to complete work at university and in the workplace, but I have never had to ask my boss, someone far more skilled than I, to do work in a timely manner. About halfway through the internship, after having run software on a different supercomputer called Guardi, I sucked it up and told Tim that I could not do it at all, and I needed him to do it for me. A few days later, simulations were running on Satonics. Now that simulations were running on Satonics, I had to fix a bunch of interfaces between software LAMPS and Python package MD Analysis. This created tons of issues, because MD Analysis likes to use solute numbers to keep track of everything, but LAMPS does not deal with solutes by default. I tried so many things, like using VMD to reformat the LAMPS trajectory to Gromax, TRR, and changing the LAMPS output format. But in the end, the solution was as simple as making a custom topology file with its own solute numbers. That's coding. My greatest triumph in this internship was my organization of data and speed of wrap up. I chucked all my code into a GitHub and uploaded my big data, all 220 gigabytes, into Pawsey's Acacia object storage before being asked. I also taught my supervisor and colleagues how to use Acacia and added readmes and file tree descriptions to my GitHub. I am confident that my organization will make my research fully accessible and reproducible by my supervisors without any further assistance from me, a vital skill in software development and research. I won't keep you much longer. This internship pushed me to my limits in my skills at software, research, and communication in a small team. I developed the skills to request work from my boss and keep detailed organized data. This project has helped demonstrate that molecular dynamic simulation can be effective at estimating material properties with no experimental data. I'm Adam Rice. Thanks for listening. Have a good day and goodbye.